Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yana Marie and today I'm going to be doing an Arteza gouache metallic and classic review as well as painting this Batman vs Wonder Woman painting which is gouache on stretched canvas. So the fine folks at Arteza hooked me up with some of their products and 10% off for you guys. So if you're interested in getting any new art supplies, check out Arteza.com and use the code expressively Yana Marie one at checkout for 10% off. Helps you out, helps me out, makes everyone happy. So they sent me a set of 12 metallic gouache paints. Um, and then I ended up purchasing a 24 set of their classic gouache paints. So if you look right here, I'm doing kind of like the base coat of the background in those classic shades. They blend so well. And here I'm showing you how I blend them. So I took one part of the silver, one part of the gold, um, another part of the pearl, all from the metallic shade. And then I added a bit of the green and I ended up adding a little bit more of the gold in there to get the exact shade I want. So one thing I don't think a lot of people know is that with gouache colors, you don't have to work out of the tube. While you can, you can mix them and get the exact shade you want and then use that. So that's exactly what I did here. And I just want to break that down to show you guys that it's so easy to blend these, um, <laughs> I almost called them acrylics. It's so easy to blend these gouaches. They blend so well, they go on canvas beautifully. This was actually my first time working with gouache on stretched canvas. Usually I work with gouache on paper, um, which if you check out my swatches video where I have all of my Arteza swatch swatches that I got from this order, I have some beautiful colors on paper, but I want to bring them on to canvas. So here I'm just working my colors up. Something I realized from doing this is that when you're working with gouache on stretch canvas, I think it actually works in your favor to work thicker to thinner in layers. Typically when you're working with um, watercolor or oil, it's better to work thinner and then work your way up to thick layers but what I found from doing this painting where I'm doing my thick layers at the beginning is that this actually worked perfectly so the black here my god <laughs> it's noir their noir shade um, for their gouache is just beautiful this is gorgeous I love working with black ink and I really am specific about my black shades that I work with I, I hate when they're like Kind of transparent they have to be thick beautiful blend well and make a statement and that's exactly what their blacks did so this is actually a mix of black with some silver but you'll see when i start doing the detail on the w um their blacks are just phenomenal <laughs> so i was really really impressed with the gouaches that i received um they just blend so well and they reactivate with water so there's kind of like this duality there where you want it to reactivate with water but you also want to be able to create layers on top of it without it reactivating and that's exactly what these gouaches did so i was super pleased with that um it can be challenging because sometimes when you're trying to do a layer it starts reactivating and blending when you're really just trying to work on top of it and that was not a problem here i just was able to glide beautifully across the canvas um the black, as you can see here, is just gorgeous. So this is day two. I spent some of last night and then some of today doing this. I think in total with the sketch, I probably spent around like three and a half hours on this. Um, I speed this up a lot for you guys because I know you don't want to see three hours of painting, but yeah, these are all like 20X or four times X, eight X, so. Yeah, so this is day two, and this is when I realized just how well you can layer these paints and how blendable they are. I'm actually using the Arteza um, water brush pen that was included in my set of premium watercolors. I have that included in my Arteza swatches video, so definitely check that out. You can see how beautiful their watercolors, gouaches, and their portrait colored um, skin tone colored Everblend markers are all in that swatches video. But yeah, I I can't even say anything bad about these gouaches. I like to keep it completely honest, completely 100%, and if there was something to complain about, I would. <laughs> um, while this is kind of a sponsored video, it's a collaboration, I'm, I'm always just gonna be honest with you guys. And honestly, I was supremely impressed. I usually work with 
higher end gouaches um, from a brand that's just way more expensive. And I don't know, I just kind of got those in college and sticked with it and never, I tried some other brands that were cheaper but the quality just screamed cheaper. With the Arteza gouaches, it's phenomenal. You're getting the best quality, in my, in my opinion, as someone that works with gouache a lot. You're getting the best quality and then you're only paying a fraction of the price that you would normally be paying. So these are hands down my favorite go-to gouaches now and <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, not that I had low expectations, I just have like very high standards when it comes to gouache and I was very happy to see that these exceeded those standards. I'm just stoked. So if you wanted to get your own set of gouaches, definitely use my code for 10% off. It's expressively Yana Marie 10. I I don't know, I just I've fallen in love with this set of gouaches. <laughs> so I got the metallic and the classic set. The metallic is what I use to do all the gold and it really is gorgeous. I don't even think the camera does a great job of displaying it. It has all of these like sparkles in it and it's just so complex, the color. It's not just like a little bit of sparkles. It's got so much like life in it. It's just layers of glitter and shimmer and it's gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna use it for some upcoming videos because the metallic shades are just absolutely gorgeous. And then I really loved the classic shades and they blend perfectly together so that you can like mix and match. This painting was both the metallic and the classic shades and it just came out perfect. So yeah, here I'm just adding some detail um, with the real brush pen. I have been loving this real brush pen because it's easy to squeeze. So when you squeeze it, you get the exact amount of water you're looking for each time. Sometimes when I've used other brush pens, it gives you way too much water and can like literally ruin your painting. <laughs> this one was super easy to squeeze and I felt like I had a lot of control over it. So I was really happy with that. Um, overall, this was the first product or set of products I've tried from Arteza and I am blown away <laughs> because of the price and the quality. I mean, even this quality on its own for a high-end price, I would still be impressed and it's only a fraction of the price. So that is all I have to say about that. Um, definitely check out my swatches video where I tried out Arteza's gouaches and their Everblend portrait toned markers and their watercolors. So I actually wrote a birthday card because this is for my hairstylist Diana. She's been styling my hair for 10 years. She's incredible. This is for her. Love you Diana. Thank you so much for being you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to use my 10% off code at Arteza.com and definitely check out their YouTube. They have some really awesome videos as well as their Instagram. Thank you guys again. See you next time.